We're Seth and Natalia. We bought Windrose, a 38 foot 1977 custom Ingrid Atkins sailboat in Hawaii. We're working hard to restore her in preparation to untie from this island and sail the world. We wanted less things and we wanted more memories. So we traded traditional living in order to live tiny, untethered, and on top of this beautiful ocean. We are excited to share our journey with you so you can see our world alongside us. So I just got a notification from my phone on my watch that we just got our package delivered and we ordered an inverter. So if you haven't already known, I have mentioned it in a lot of videos, but if you're new here, we are converting our like previously diesel sailboat into a sailboat with an electric motor. So we are going to show you, Seth is actually in the process slash almost done with building his full lithium battery set. So instead of just buying a fully finished lithium battery set, that would be too easy. Seth decided to buy the cells and make his own like lithium battery set. So he's gonna talk about it and share all about that in this episode, but stay tuned because we are going to work on the inverter so that we can take that power and test it to run all of our boat necessities off grid so that when we get to sailing and doing all those things we can full, fully sustain like a fridge and keep it cool and all those things. So I'm gonna go pick up that package and you can keep watching this episode for more electric motor battery powered deets. All right, so this is my battery build so far. Since we're going electric with our electric motor, we obviously wanted to have enough battery capacity to operate the motor. Now we're still waiting on that to come in the mail, um, so we won't be able to really know how these batteries operate or how much runtime we'll have until we get the motor and we can actually run some tests to see um, at what speed and how far we can travel, but we will do some tests once that comes in and we'll be able to install everything completely. So this is 16 battery cells, eight on each side lined together. I put wood ends with handles on the side um, to help lift it with these metal poles to hold everything together and kind of squeeze the batteries to give some tension so they don't uh, overswell. Um, they're linked into series with the bus bars, so I have my main positive on this side. Behind is my main negative going into the BMS. And then these are linked with the bus bars in series with the uh, little bounce leads for each battery on each positive uh, connection. So each cell is uh, 280 amp hour 3 volt cells, so combined it's a 48 volt uh, battery pack for 280 amp hours. All are wired to the 48 volt BMS which is I have wired to uh, this little breaker right here basically an on off switch breaker and then this is the Bluetooth dongle which has a little power button which sends all the charge information to uh, the phone on my app. I'll probably end up finding a way to secure this with some M3 strips or something. So my main negative is below here, this blue wire right here. So main negative comes out and then they're all linked all the way back and around to my main positive which is right here. Uh, main positive just goes straight into the breaker. Main negative goes to the BMS 
which then and all the bounce leads and then main negative out goes to the switch as well and then positive negative and then we have a positive negative bus bars and then right now I just have the two extra coming out. For now we also have a charger that I can plug into um, the bus bar and then my main uh, source out we also bought an inverter. So this is our uh, inverter Victron Phoenix 48 volt inverter so those positive and negatives will just plug in right here which I wired earlier but took off because uh, we aren't ready to install this is all just in the living room area right now so we're still trying to uh, figure out where we're gonna install the batteries in the engine room and clean out the engine room. Uh, once we clean out the engine room and repaint it, then these will go in there. Seth is working on the inverter and we're running our first test on it to see if it works off of the lithium batteries that we created. So this is the Bluetooth dongle. <laughs> I think the name is hilarious. So this shows us how charged our batteries are. So it is at 97.9% .9 right now, the lithium. So we plugged it in at 97.9% at 3.15 in the afternoon, and the refrigerator is running now just solely on the lithium. So we're gonna see how long the refrigerator will run for. Pretty much, basically, we're just gonna be looking at the Bluetooth dongle to see how long does this lithium battery last running the fridge so like how long can we go this is a good test this lithium battery is obviously going to be for our electric motor but until the meantime when we don't have that we're testing it on this because we may make another set for future like off-grid life products that we use like the microwave the fridge the instapot and just typical things so 315 97.9% let's see but we'll just give it a test we'll see like okay on average it's using 2% per hour or 10% per hour or 20% per hour. <laughs> We are sitting down for dinner. <laughs> sitting down for dinner. Do you want to get your Bluetooth dongle so we can show them the update of the battery? This is not. This is a phone. <laughs> this is a what? The a phone. <laughs> the, the Bluetooth, Bluetooth dongle, dongle goes to the, the phone. It's the Bluetooth dongle is basically the circle piece on the batteries that feeds it wirelessly through Bluetooth to the phone. So let me do the little update for you guys. All right, so we started at 3.15 in the afternoon and the battery was at 98%. At 4.15, we checked in and it was at 95.5%. So it went down just shy of three points, two and a half points. And then now it is five, you're shaking Two and a half it. points. Two and a half points, yeah. You should five please points. go. <laughs> and then it's 5.09 right now. So just shy of two hours since we plugged it in and it is at 93.6. Yeah, but we're gotta be exact. We started at eight and we're at three, so that's five. We've gone down five percent. Yeah, we went down five percent in almost two hours. in two hours, and it was just running the fridge alone. And we, Did I did just make dinner though, and I opened it a couple times because I got the sour cream, avocado, different things out of the the lime juice out of the fridge. So it went down five points. So are we? These are the ones that are going to run our electric motor, correct? Probably. Okay, and then if we did another system, we would be doing another battery set like this one that would then fuel like microwave, fridge, Instapot, maybe like a little light so that we could see what we're doing. But I do oh, have my puck lights. <laughs> no need for electricity when you have batteries. Literally, big and small. Well, we'll have to we'll have to run tests. Yeah, we'll, we'll have, have to do to some see. tests. But, anyways, it's time for dinner. I am starving. Made these like delicious quinoa, tomato, avocado pulled pork bowls. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. We are crossing our fingers that we receive at some point shortly the tracking number from Thunderstruck Motors for our electric motor. But until then, we are finalizing the batteries, finalizing the engine room and all these projects so that when we get the motor, we just plug and play and we get out on the open ocean. So with that being said, Make sure you ring the bell down below. We still gotta hang this. This is the one that you saw in one of our videos that we just polished. So we gotta get to hanging this. But in the meantime, go down below, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for post notifications so you don't miss when we get out on the open ocean and any of our videos. Why not? So anyways, we will see you here on our channel shortly. See ya.